Hello, Aspirin here. Um, going to do another review. Um, this one is going to be about Leatherhead. The new, well, 2004 toy version of the classic Leatherhead. From the comic books. <laughs> so, hope you all enjoy this one. And that's Leatherhead's tail right there. It's a little ball and chain. Tail wags. Yeah. That's a good hit, I think. But good old Leatherhead. Classic style. Head okay, moves back and forth. Arm does a whole classic up and down thing. Arms, these things don't move. His legs moves. Of course, this moves. There's tail. <laughs> Here's the other um, thing you probably want to know about. Well, maybe. He was created in 1987 by, you know, Morgan Studio. The artist who originally did it was, what was his name? Ryan Brown, who was originally, you know, the creator of Letterhead. Um, technically what the two believe that Ryan based his character off his friend named Phil. So I guess Phil has a split personality. You know, it's a good and happy and he switches off, he pisses him off, and he starts attacking everyone. Or maybe he's just big like this, I don't know. But, no, uh, that's one of the stories about Leatherhead. Leatherhead was a pet to the Utrons. The Utrons were the, people, were the aliens who crashed here on Earth. And um, what happened is that the Utrons were making a machine to go back home, which wasn't ready yet. Let her, you know, just being a good pet. And um, he was accidentally sprayed by mutagen. When they realized that he was all grown, you know, looked like a human form, they taught him, like, you know, how a father would teach like, their son how to fix it on a car. But they were teaching him how to use machines and everything else you can name. Until one day, uh, the machine was, you know, not the machine, but the, the place they're living at got distorted and it was going to blow up. And um, the Utrons were freaked out, so they got on the machines and they were sent back home and separated from them to Letterhead. And Letterhead was homeless, and he ended up living in the sewers. Well, Matt, Dr. Stockman, Dr. Stockman was trying to tell Letterhead that there's some turtles in the sewers that are bad people and blah, 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 and the turtles came and... Well, Letterhead and Baxter Stockman created Turtlebot. The turtles showed the Letterhead that, you know, we are the good guys and he's a bad guy. He freaked and snapped and started attacking um, Baxter Stockman while the whole place was coming down on top of him. Then you'd think he's dead, but he's not. So after the whole roof caved in, after the whole explosion with the Turtlebot and the turtles, yeah, he actually saved the turtles' lives because he didn't want them to get crushed. Later on, with the Agent Bishop in this episode, that, um... When the turtles got kidnapped by Asian Bishop, they realized there was another mutant there. And he pulls them out of the drawer like it was nothing, and Butterhead's over there like knocked out, all dizzy. And, well, that's from there. That's where uh, Butterhead continues being part of the whole episode in Ninja Turtles. So, yay! Cause I love Butterhead. He's awesome. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2004 Marvel Studio Toys. Yeah, Play My Toys. Made in China. I forgot to show you that. There was a episode, not an episode, but in a comic book where uh, Master Splinter dies. Yes, we all know Master Splinter originally dies. So he shows up to Master Splinter's funeral. And near the end, he, um, you know, him and Raphael end up wrestling, because, you know, they all like to wrestle. And after that, he just turns away into the unknown. And so, at least Letterhead, you know, Letterhead is, has a good heart. So that's why I said but he has a hot temper. Don't mess with him, but you know, he's a really good guy. He has a good heart. That's how I, I see Letterhead, though. Okay, so cartoon and comic book. Cartoon, Dante and Letterhead were, you know, close friends because they have everything in common. However, 
in the comic book of the Tales of the Team and T, they weren't much of friends. I don't remember why, but Letter had, has a grudge against Donatello, and I guess he got pissed off one day and attacked Raphael, nearly almost killing him. Um, if you remember why, please put in the comments on here. But the reason why he got them all mixed together, because, you know, back in the day, they all had red bandana, so you couldn't tell them apart, because he was really originally trying to kill Donatello. Um, the guy who made um, Letterhead, Ryan Brown, was, um, was trying to kill off the character off the near the end of the Tales of the Team NT. I think it was volume 1, number 6, I think. I don't remember. But there was some parts that, you know, he went back home to the Utrons and lived with the Utrons, and that was the end of him. Or the one of the hunters, the big game hunter, was trying to, well, or actually killed Letterhead. But um, I don't think the Marga Studio actually let that happen. So, there were so many different endings of Let Letterhead here. So, if you remember your history with Letterhead, or if you remember the stories I was telling you, please add on to the comments on here. So yeah, this is Letterhead, a uh, little review, I um, hope you enjoy this. Please comment and tell me your history behind Letterhead. Um, rate this if you like this um, review, and my other um, review turtle toys. Um, I recommend getting this, add this to your collection, you gotta have Letterhead in your collection. You just got it. Good or bad Letterhead. There's nothing wrong with Letterhead, he's just like the coolest toy they ever made for Letterhead, I think. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I got a, um, emails by two or three people asking if I had my stuff here, what kind, of <coughs> excuse me, what kind of uh, review turtle toys would I be reviewing as right now? So I got some pictures from my website. Um, it's on my MySpace that you see on the end of every video. Add me. Tell me that you saw me on YouTube. So I don't think you were like a spam or something. So I'll show you some pictures, not all of them, but some pictures of stuff I'll be showing to the audience. Um, if you want to see the rest of my turtle collection, go to my MySpace, go to my pictures. They're all in different folders, and check it out. So anyways, take care of yourself, and happy hunting, everyone.